we need to show them that we have a certain je ne sais quoi. You look majestic. Do you even know what that means? Not too sure, but it sounded pretty good. Mm. My father's mentally insane. Have a nice day. Pretend that I'm a visiting minor royal. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Fist bump. <laughs> rock! On your rock! Get set, go! Oh my god. I can tell he's exhausted. <laughs> I think my husband was in that red car. I haven't had this much fun since I lost my virginity in 1987. I'm the king. Yeah. Of what? Isle Man. <laughs> That's a good joke. You can't just proclaim yourself king in the Isle of Man. Not a descendant of Magnus <laughs> Muttonhead. <laughs> the people were mean to me. They didn't take me seriously. Even though officially I'm the king, it doesn't really mean anything unless we can win the people of the Isle of Man over. There is a serious side to being royal. It's not all fun and games. You're battling with basically a six-year-old. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. Do. Lady Campbell is an expert on etiquette. Napkins go in the lap. This is how it would go. I don't think so. When I first saw them, it was Hicksville come to town. No, 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 no. We need to do a little bit of shopping. Oh, no. 1984 called, and they'd like their suit jacket back. I feel like I'm going to a funeral. I don't think so. Whoa, look at that. I was shocked. I mean, you look great. Now that we've learned so much about etiquette, cultural references, I've definitely felt like I got just a little bit more royal. That's our castle. That's your castle. Ladies and gentlemen, you know when I be served. We're not allowed to talk across the table. <laughs> You're the king of Mansa. <laughs> oh, you know I've me. I've heard about you. You know, you're famous. Oh, my gosh. Where's the king? Oh, my God. Hello. Oh, to meet you. This is awesome. I'm finally being accepted. The added disadvantage you have, unfortunately, is that you come from another land. Kevin was pretty adamant about the fact that if I was going to be king, I really needed to be moving here. I don't want to stay here permanently. If that means leaving everything that I've grown up with. I'm not prepared to move here full time, and I don't think Grace is either. If I do end up winning the acceptance of everyone here, you kind of have to be prepared for that. We don't have a view like this at home, that's for sure. Yeah. You think you have an end goal in mind when you start something out, and then everything changes in the midst of it. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen anywhere as pretty as here.